Good morning. Yeah, Candace didn't let me sleep this morning either. And after I took my shower, I realized my face is peeling. But my back isn't, even though my back got pretty bad, sunburn, uh, just my face is peeling today. So it's kind of annoying. <clears throat> I don't know how much I'll actually film today. <laughs> um, today, I'm going to try to clean my room a little bit, but there's really no place to put my stuff, so it's kind of annoying. And I don't know. We'll see what I can do. I, I think I'll just move things around because there's really no place to put everything that's in there. Um, yeah, and more reading I'll probably be doing. So, yeah. So Candace was sleeping, and then she just got up and went nuts all of a sudden. I don't know why. Candace, why are you hyper? Come here. Hi. <laughs> you just licked the camera lens. She gave you a kiss. What? What is it? What do you want? That, no. Oh, also, conveniently, the internet went out again. Very frustrating. And I already reset the, the wireless, and I have to wipe the lick off of you. I think that's better. <sighs> Candace, what got into you? Hmm? You wanna go outside? Maybe that's why. I just um, was checking my Twitter a little bit ago, and um, one of the authors I follow tweeted that uh, L.A. Banks has passed away. Um, she is a paranormal writer. Uh, she actually, I have the poster and all of her books, uh, well not all of her books, I just have the one series, but um, this series. Right now Sarah has the first book, but um, crazy, she had um, a type of cancer, I forgot which kind, I looked it up and now I forgot, um, but it was in the late stages and I guess they uh, weren't able to heal it very well. Um, so my thoughts are totally out to her family and friends, um, and the author I follow on Twitter said, and I totally, uh, repeat this, that the, um, book community lost a great author and a great voice. Um, I loved how different her, her writing style and voice is than, or voices are. How, how different her style is from other paranormal works that I've read, like, I started reading those series, I'm pretty sure I started reading these about six or seven years ago, at least, because I was reading them kind of, I think the first two were out when I started reading it, and I just looked, and the second book was published in 2003, or copyright 2003, so I, um, so at least seven or eight years that I've been reading it or something like that, um, and after all that time, I only read the first five and I only read them once, but they still stick out in my mind after all the books I've read in, in between then, then and now. So that's how unique her style is. Like I still remember, whereas other authors, like the storylines and the style kind of muddle together. Like I remember a lot about that series, even though I read it all that time ago. So I was very shocked to hear that she had passed away and um, from a horrible illness. Um, so I just wanted to mention that it kind of sucks. <laughs> I definitely have to uh, go back and reread and actually continue the series because I fell out of the series because I was reading like three or four books at a time and I, I just remember I couldn't keep up with it. So I have to go back and reread it, get the first book back from Sarah and start rereading it again. So I just wanted to say how shocked I was to hear that she'd actually passed away. Um, very crazy. I just have to show how much of a klutz I am. I was going to feed the fish. And the bucket fell, the thing fell over. Yeah, this is gonna be fun picking all these things up. Cause they're tiny. Uh, yeah. This should be fun.
just gonna vacuum the rest. That's a pretty good save, right? <sighs> yeah, I'm that clumsy.